point of inflection show that any function of the form f of x equals to x to the power of 4 plus kx cube where k is not equal to 0 has a point of inflection at 0 0 okay so let's find second derivative point of inflection is change in concavity which we test with the help of second derivative so we are given f of x let's find first derivative first and then the second derivative is x to the power of 4 plus k x cube right now what is first derivative is a simple polynomial we just do product root I mean power root so we get 4 x cube plus 3 k x squared so that's the first derivative and the second derivative for us is 4 times 3 12 x squared plus 3 times 2 6 k x now we can factor this we can take 6 x common we take 6 x common so we get 2 x here plus k well that gives us two zeros and not just one anyway the question is let's read it once again it says show that any function of this form has a point of inflection at 0 0 that means at least at 0 0 it should have point of inflection it could have point of inflection at some other point also right it's not saying only at right so it makes sense now let's try to figure out what this f dash double dash is so f double dash x let's see whether it changes concavity at these two points or not so f double dash x should be equal to zero for the concavity right so that is our critical point so let's find the critical point first so critical point is a point or critical number where f double dash x let me write double dash x in a different ink in this side where f double dash x is equal to zero so we know f double dash x is actually equal to let me write on this side which is 6x times 2x plus k now when is it equal to zero it is zero at two points one it is zero at x equals to zero that is this value and the other is at x equals to minus k over 2 is it okay so these are the two points when they have two factors when this f double dash x could be zero right so we're trying to figure out when is this equal to zero right that is what we're trying to figure out so let's plot these two points here so we have at zero and minus k by two okay let's assume k is positive for the time being if k is positive then minus k by two will be negative so we have two zeros one at zero i'm putting zero here and the other one is at minus k by 2. k has to be a point other than 0, right? Since k is not equal to 0, that is given in our equation. Now, how can we say that the point of inflection exists at 0, 0? Well, as you can see, 6x times 2x plus k, this represents a parabola. Now, since 6x and 2x when multiplied gives you a positive 12x this parabola opens upwards correct so if it opens upward we can actually draw a parabola like this going through the two zeros now as you can see let's analyze the f double dash this is f double dash right f double dash of x now at this point zero it changes from negative to positive right so let's analyze this point now here f double dash x is negative before zero and positive after zero if it is negative then what kind of concavity are you expecting so if it is negative it will be concave down correct and if it is positive it has to be concave up since the concavity changes we have a point of inflection right so we have a point of inflection at x equals to zero since the concavity changes do you understand so let's write since concavity changes we have point of inflection at x equals to zero right and we say this function has point of inflection at 0 0 that means what is the value of the function at 0 
what is f of 0 equals to? If I plug in 0 here, I do get 0, right? So this point truly is 0, 0. And we have proved that at this point, we'll always have a point of inflection. I hope you understand the concept. So when we have to show that there is a point of inflection at a particular point, the idea is to find the second derivative, equate it to 0, then you get your critical number, and you know possible points where the function could have point of inflection. Now we got two in this case. Since we have to analyze only one of them, we, analyze, we did the analysis of that one. Now, the equation for f double dash x is a parabola with two x-intercepts, which I've drawn here. Since the coefficient is positive, it opens upwards, correct? At zero, you can see f dash x changes sign from negative to positive. So when f double dash x is negative, your function should be concave down. And when f double dash is positive, function has to be concave up. So the concavity changes at zero, correct? Therefore, there is a point of inflection at x equals to zero. When you substitute zero in your function, you get zero as the y value also. Therefore, the point is zero, zero. So that is how we need to answer this question. And don't forget to prove that this point is indeed 0, 0, and this point is a point of inflection. I hope that helps you and really explains you the whole concept of point of inflection. Thank you, and all the best.